Father and Son. Father and Son. Father and Son. Oh, Father and Son. Review it all. Father and Son review it all. It's Halloween month. It's October. <coughs> yes. What is today's date? It is October 9th. It's October 9th. So we're going to do some Halloween stuff. We're going to get our feet wet, shall we say, with this product right here. He's going to show you. Today, we have zombie Skittles. What makes them zombie Skittles? Well, as it says on the back, beware, a rotten zombie taste can be hiding behind any of these colors. And those colors are, may I point out, blood red berry. You know what, let's just open the package and show them that way. Alright, we're going to open the package. Let's see if we can open this package here. We're going to spill them out here on the table. So what you're saying is one of these, or multiples of these, have a zombie. What does a zombie taste like? Bad. Bad? Rotten? Rotten zombie flavor. Dirty sock? There's no yellow ones in here? These are blood red berry. Show them off. Uh, blood red I'll get one of Mummified each. melon. That is... Petrified the... citrus punch. So... Chilling black blood red cherry. Boogeyman blackberry. Uh, uh, that's... So, I guess we're going to be looking for ones that taste horrible. And... But what if they taste horrible and they're not the zombie one? <laughs> How are we going to know? I'm going to go with the boogeyman blackberry, which that is might blue. might not be it, though. But it may not be. It may taste like someone's toes. Hmm? Doesn't taste like toes. <laughs> it tastes pretty good. What do you think? How's yours? Did you get the gross one? I don't know. You don't know if it's gross? I'm laughing too much to taste it. So laughing shuts your taste buds off. We have a lot of very valuable scientific information here. If you laugh, shuts your taste buds off. I don't think that's... Ugh. Maybe he got a stinker. That's not a good one. Well, Boogeyman Blackberry tasted fine to me. <coughs> this is Chilling Black Cherry, a dark purpley one. So let's see. It's just like gum. Mm. It tastes pretty good. That's a good one, yeah. Mm, that's a very nice one. There's a lot of flavor in that one. I'm going to try another one of these just to get the actual Carrot. taste. Mm, that black cherry one was really nice. I like that a lot. What do you think? Yeah, that's a good one. So you think you got the zombie one? I think I did. Really? What it did it taste funky. like? Funky? It was a funky taste. And really? It wasn't. It tastes like a dirty belly button or something? I don't know what that tastes like. I don't but, but I've got the um, red, blood, blood red, red berry. berry. Okay. Not much flavor to it. That other one, that black cherry one, was so much flavor. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. That's good. Red berry tastes all right. I like it. All right, we've got... That's a good one. Mummified melon, which is green. <coughs> they should have named it like Booger or something, but they didn't. There we go. It has a fake... Melon taste. Oh, that's very good. I figured you like that. You love the what? No. No. This tastes like the melon stuff. And then, this is what? Petrified citric punch. Citrus punch. Mmm. Mmm. It does. It has a citrusy taste. Yeah. So far, pretty good. Well, I didn't get one of the Disgustoid ones. No. And I'm happy for that. You got lucky. So, I'm going to try another one because I'd like to get one of the gross ones. So, that would be nice. I could have a full flavor. And that's the point. It's supposed to is it just one in the package, or? Beware, a rotten zombie taste can be hiding behind any of these flavors. So, 
We don't know. I didn't get one. So far, so good. Like Russian roulette. I'm gonna eat this whole package to so find out. Maybe. This will be a three hour video. Well, I'm not gonna do it. So far, I didn't get one of the stinkers. He did. He said it was just uh, off tasting. What did it taste like? It wasn't like killer, but it was uncomfortable tasting. Uncomfortable tasting. So much so that it shuts his taste buds off. Was that what that was? No, that was from, from me laughing. That was from laughing. I'm sorry. Well, I might leave a couple more. But we're not going to make this. I'm not going to make this hit with the whole video for this. I didn't get one. Sorry. One of the few times I've lucked out in my life. Look at Um. Melon had a little odd taste, but it wasn't like horribly awful, I guess. Oh, there we go. Yeah? Yeah, we got one. Oh. Now I want one again, because I feel like I didn't get the full extent of it. It's like, it's got a bunch of different pungent type of tastes to it. You get hit with a bunch of smells and tastes. Yeah. Almost like a like an ashtray, mashed potato-y smell, like an old... Oh, I got one. So much for my luck. We got one. Oh, it was kind of gross. Yeah. Yeah. It was, just, it was old tasting... Now I want to get another one. We didn't want to have to get that on camera, yeah. of course. But All right. Well, they did the trick. They were fun. They had their little zombie fun at, at our expense, right? Oh, and these came from um, Rob Fotz. Rob I always Fox rely on Rob Fox. So we had a hard time finding them. And then we had this big search to find them. Everybody was finding them all over. I never saw them once. Yeah. So then I talked to Fox. Then when Fox says, oh, I got them for you. And then we started finding them all over the place. So, of course. But he gets the credit for finding them and presenting them to the show. And these are kind of fun. I would go out and find them just to see if you can find. If you like Skittles, you're going to like these. Plus you have the <coughs> added fun of doing that. So for father and son review at all, I'm Big Chris. The big Skittle, and he's the little stinky toe Skittle. And remember, and remember have, have good, good YouTube. YouTube.